Alright, yo, what's going on everyone? You guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Games Builds back here today uh, for another uh, tutorial uh, sort of video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips for uh, how to do the uh, planche on the straight bar. Now, it's been a while since I've done um, some sort of a tutorial video like this and uh, part of the reason for that is, is I've had my channel for quite some time now and I feel like I've kind of uh, gone through pretty much all the skills I can do right now, except for um, Maltese, which uh, I will be doing a Maltese tutorial very shortly. I could do one very, very soon. I just need to uh, pick out which exercises uh, I think are the best and that I want to use for the video. But yeah, definitely expect a Maltese tutorial here very soon. So definitely subscribe if you're not already and you want to learn uh, Maltese, maybe, because I, I think that video can help you out. Um, anyway, guys. <clears throat> Well then, sorry, and then after that, multi-tutorial, uh, we'll get into, I'm working on a lot of super hard skills right now, so once I get better at those, I'll definitely uh, share and make tutorials for those, but yeah, uh, as of right now, <clears throat> we are still going to be talking about how to do the sh uh, planche on the straight bar. Now, uh, the straight bar planche is a pretty interesting one. I, in my opinion, uh, I think the straight bar is harder than uh, the floor. And the parallettes, I think, out of kind of all like the mainstream surfaces, this is probably the hardest. I even think this might be a little bit harder than planche on the rings. I, I don't really know. They're just kind of different. So, um, <clears throat> okay. So there's two ways to do the planche on the straight bar. Of course, you have the pronated grip and you have the supinated grip. Now, I probably posted a video of me doing the supinated version <clears throat> on the video. So... That's all the proof you guys need that I can do a supinated planche. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, so at a pronated and supinated planche, um, I really prefer to do it with a supinated grip, but you can do it with a pronated grip as well. The only reason why I don't like training it pronated is because it can, it, it just, it hurts my wrist. <laughs> um, but we will go over the pronated version first. So when you're doing the planche on the pronated grip, you pretty much want to grab <clears throat> the bar obviously with a pronated grip and uh, it, it's good when you start leaning forward <clears throat> and trying to actually get into the planche you're really going to feel it on your wrist so one thing that you can do <clears throat> when you're doing the pronated planche is subtract fingers so this would be grabbing the bar with your full hand one thing you can do is you can just take your pinky and put it um, <clears throat> You can just put it underneath the bar and it uh, reduces some of the strain on the wrist. Some people like doing it this way. Uh, personally, for me, I don't. I like grabbing it with the whole hand if I am going to be doing it with the pronated grip, okay? So, um, and then one thing you can try just to practice, it's pretty much just the same planche progressions, but you're just going to be doing them with whichever grip you want to go for. So, like, one example would be pronated planche leans. <clears throat> okay. Uh, pronated tuck planche. Yeah, even pronated tuck planche is bothering me. There's no way I'm going to demonstrate all of them. But yeah, pronated tuck planche, advanced tuck, uh, straddle. You can even do them. You can even do the uh, pronated planche with a uh, resistance band as well if you want to <clears throat> work on that. Um, and now, and the same thing, of course, applies to the supinated grip planche. Uh, once again, you can do the supinated grip uh, planche leans, supinated grip planche lean push-ups. Uh, yeah, tuck, the progressions tuck planche, <clears throat> advanced tuck straddle planche, all of that. And then even the supinated grip with a band. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so also with the, with the straight bar planche, there is some technical aspects that go into it as well <clears throat> that might not apply to some of the other planche versions. So. One thing is, as you guys know, when you do planche, you are leaning forward and you're constantly leaning forward. The <clears throat> thing that makes it tough is if you keep leaning forward on, on the straight bar when you're planching, you're just going to fall right on your face. So one thing that you can uh, try to do to prevent that is to think about turning the bar back. <clears throat> so when you lean with your hands, you can focus on uh, twi twisting the bar backwards. Okay, so you would be rotating it, um, shoot, 
Uh, you'd be rotating the bar clockwise. Yeah, so you're in, you're in planche, you're rotating the bar, and that's going to prevent you from uh, falling forward, okay? And then the same thing applies with pronated. You just want to turn the bar uh, the opposite way as you would uh, <clears throat> when you're shooting to really think about twisting that bar. That's going to be kind of the key for hanging on. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, so bottom line, just practice the basic uh, planche progressions on uh, the straight bar with whatever grip you want to learn with the uh, little twisty method that I was talking about. And uh, yeah, you should be able to get your uh, straight bar, either pronated grip or supinated grip planche in no time at all. So uh, with that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, of course, uh, please leave a like and comment below if uh, maybe I did miss a tutorial for a move that I'm able to do because I'd be happy to uh, make that. And uh, yeah, guys, of course, hit me with a nice subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.